Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning for another episode of Rule the Waves. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at our immediate post-war plans to try and modernize the fleet. Uh, quite a few of our ships are substantially out of date, uh, especially our auxiliary and support ships, although our battleships are as well. The Mikasa class, for example, as someone pointed out in my last video, had four 9-inch guns and 10 8-inch guns, which is not bad for a pre-dreadnought ship, especially the 10 8-inch gun secondary armament. So even if we round up and say it's got 14 8-inch guns, our brand new light cruiser, which it doesn't obviously, but our brand new light cruiser class, the, the, the Tasupaka class, has 18 9-inch guns. So this heavy cruiser class is 3,000 tons heavier than our battleships, and um, far more efficient. Now the one thing, the reason I haven't scrapped those Mikasa class battleships, you can see we only have eight battleships. We're heavily outnumbered by everybody else. And we're already getting criticized in our press for the number of battleships that we have. So politically speaking, it would not be wise in my opinion uh, to scrap it. Um, with that being said, uh, it will be amongst the first ships that we go ahead and we do scrap and actually I'm going to go ahead and at least until we can get more ships in service I'm not going to scrap them but I will go ahead and I will mothball two of the Mikasa classes right now um, it'll drop our active battleship fleet down by two but it will also save us in the range of 160,000 per ship actually 180,000 per ship uh, to help our budget a bit. You can see here we have a positive bu budget of 2.7 million, uh, which is much less than it was before. We were running around 299 million per year. We're down to 211 million um, because of the end of the war and the uh, lowering of tensions throughout the globe. Um, the 211 million means we do have a bigger naval budget than um, Italy, uh, but we're behind everybody else pretty substantially. Now, there's a few things I think we need to do. If we look at our building ship category, we can see here that our last cruiser class uh, was a 1906 version. The Tizabuka class heavy cruiser, I think, is going to play kind of the role of a colonial cruiser. The thing's damn big at 18,000 tons, and it's expensive. Um, I kind of debated last turn and kind of mentioned how the heavy cruiser really became obsolete because of the battle cruiser, and you don't really see a resurgence of the heavy cruiser class historically until after World War I, where there's some naval arms treaties that prevent uh, the construction of capital ships. So you see this resurgence in heavy cruisers, um, which had for a while seemingly been obsolete. We don't have that limitation right now. So really, to be honest, uh, if we're looking at spending a lot of money um, on you know, building a battle cruiser or a heavy cruiser. We can see here the construction costs are only 500000 different a month. Um, over the course of uh, the actual in-service life, you can see here a battle cruiser costs about $400,000 to maintain per turn. These new heavy cruisers cost in the range of 300000 So again, 100000 difference for a inferior ship. Um, I don't really think it's worth it, but as far as being able to be stationed on a foreign station, maybe somewhere in Africa, uh, I do think there is some utility there. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and see. I want to look at our bases here in Southeast Asia, actually, because I know one restriction we had last turn is our Southeast Asia base uh, was somewhat... Where do I go here? Okay, it was somewhat um, too small. So, I'm looking... Formosa, you can see here the base capacity, 150, was a little bit too small. So I think if we go ahead and we improve bases, we can go ahead and spend 2.4 million on that and um, improve our bases there to maybe allow us to station more larger ships there. Um, I would also think it might not be a bad idea. Our current base capacity is only a 6 in Angola. So go ahead and improve the bases there as well. We're spending... 2.4 million on each of those, but again, if we're going to station some heavy cruisers in Angola, we need to make sure the bases are up to snuff. So we'll go ahead and we'll let one more turn pass by. Navy League is complaining that we have too few battleships. U.S. government's offering to extend rights for the double bottom for 3.5 million. Um, and you know, frankly, I'm always a fan of um, buying where you can afford it additional equipment and some research breakthroughs there. And it looks like the 2.5 million to expand our bases um, 
was just kind of taken as a lump sum because it doesn't seem like it's affected the budget, although it's going to take a year for that to go into place. You know, we've got seven months till our dock sizes expand, which I think I'll, I'll look at building my own domestic dreadnought at that point. Um, but as I said, I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to modernize our cruiser force first. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the design ship category here. We're going to move this over. And we're going to go ahead and design a light cruiser class. Again, we just built a heavy cruiser class a couple years ago. Our light cruisers are definitely out of date. And then we'll go ahead and auto design the ship. Because I'm not great at designing my own ships. So you can see here, um, the computer has built a 4,900 ton light cruiser. It's kind of small for my taste. High speed of 28 knots, that's very fast. That's faster than anything else we have. You can really start to see the um, advantages of some of the technologies we've been developing now that we have you know, steam turbines and whatnot. You can get much better speeds out of these ships. And you can see it has five main guns of a six inch caliber. Um, I'd like to maybe expand that a bit. So I think, let's see here. We can make it a little bit bigger. I think we're going to increase the ship's size a bit. It'll increase the cost, but I'm okay with that. Um, let's see here. We're going to delete the forward turret and the aft center line. We'll see what that does to the ship design. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a forward double turret. And then we're going to add a aft center line double turret. So that gives us instead of six, we'll have a, we'll have some additional guns. Um, you can see there we've got some hmm, additional guns. You know what might be worth doing? Let's scrap that all together. Let's go ahead and go for a fully modern design if we can. We're going to delete all of these guns. We're going to add a forward double turret. We'll add a aft double turret. We'll add a forward uh, superimposed turret, double turret. Oh, it's not lame. How about this? Not researched. Lame. So apparently we haven't researched uh, super firing turrets yet. I don't like the way that looks. That's weird. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Auto design the ship again. So redesigned it. Actually, it bumped them up to 7-inch guns, interestingly enough. That seems a little bit heavy for a light cruiser, but I'm okay with it. I just think we need to change these to double turrets. We'll make the aft. Um, why does that look weird? I don't like that. Let's redesign again. 4,900... Jumps them back down to six inch guns. So, aft and forward, delete both of those. Then we'll go ahead and add, maybe we can make a triple turret. Can we do that? Yes, we can. And then an aft triple turret. There you go. So, triple turrets now. Six inch guns, but again, we can make the ship a little bit bigger. So, that gives us nine six-inch guns, all firing along the center line, so that should give us um, a reasonable um, firepower. These guns are only going to be available on a broadside. You can see the conning tower would be in the way. I don't, I'm not sure if the game really takes that into account, but anyway, we will just assume that it does. Um, and then what I'd actually like to do, I want to make... Let's see if we've got some other torpedo options. I want to give us better torpedo options for, um, for our cruiser. So we put, let's see, we removed our torpedo tubes there. We'll go ahead and add a starboard broadside swivel mount. Can we do a triple? No, we can only do a single. Uh, okay. Starboard side, port side, swivel mount. Okay. And maybe we add a couple more. So we'll do... Starboard broadside swivel mount. Port broadside swivel mount. There you go. So now we've got four torpedo tubes. I'd like to maybe we do three on each side. Um, starboard broadside swivel mount. Port side swivel mount. Whoops. Those are off center. Um...
port, 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 starboard, starboard. I'm not sure it really matters if it looks weird. Um, yeah, okay. Um, there, so we've got four torpedo tubes on each side. Let's see what our design says, aside from being overweight. Above water tubes not researched for cruiser. What? You know, apparently I don't know anything. Um, we're going to do this. Huh. Five inch guns. So let's forward, aft, increase caliber to six inches. Secondary guns, it looks like, even in turrets. I don't see the point of just having two three inch guns as a secondary armament, though. And we'll just get rid of those all together. And then we'll add a forward triple turret and an aft triple turret. Okay, so you've got some single turret guns along the side. They're all the same caliber, though. But again, we don't have any secondary guns. I'm not sure it matters with this design because we've got over 10. Uh, main guns and numerous different turrets, so I think that'd be sufficient to deal with light craft, I'm hoping. Anyway, um, you can see here it's 27 knots. We'll bump back up to 28. We're going to make this thing a little bit bigger, so probably around 6,000 tons, 6,500 maybe. Um, 6,800 tons, I guess. So that's kind of a big light cruiser, but you know, as we're kind of getting into this post, uh, or this World War I era, light cruisers do start to get a bit bigger. Um, so 6,800 tons seems fair. Only two torpedo tubes, but they have to be submerged because apparently we haven't researched um, above water torpedo mounts. Um, we can put a torpedo bulge and normal accommodations. We'll bump range up to long, and we'll have to probably make it around 7,500 tons. Nope, not big enough yet. 8,000 tons? Yikes. Maybe we'll bump it down to 27 knots to save... I don't want to make it 8,000 tons. Um, port aft wing. We'll delete two of these turrets. Really? Still hasn't saved enough weight? I like the idea of it being long-ranged. I really think we need a long-range cruiser. Um... Drop ammo down to 110 gun rounds per gun. I can't really save weight anywhere else. I don't know if I'd want to make it slower than 27 knots. In fact, I can't even remember what our battleship class is. I'm sorry I'm kind of fumbling around here creating a light cruiser, but... Um, so we've got 12 main, gun, main guns at 6 inch. Normal engine priority, belt coverage normal. I suppose we could drop the conning tower down to three and a half inches. Oh, that doesn't even say it. That's not even worth it. Um, the turret should be at least two inches of armor. I guess we drop speed to 26 knots. Seems a little bit slow for our, a light cruiser. We'll make it obsolete pretty quick. 27 seems to be what we need. But that long range aspect is just, it's killing. It's, it needs long range, but... Duh! Um, what if we drop... I, that doesn't even save as much weight. Those turrets aren't that heavy. I like the triple turrets, but maybe we drop it to a double? I don't even know if that saves us enough weight. Um, hmm... Guess we don't need torpedo defense. I mean, realistically, it's uh, not designed to take a torpedo hit. It's a light cruiser. So we'll bump it to 7,800 tons. We'll drop the torpedo defense. Um, turrets need to be two inches, I would say. And uh, there we have it. The We'll call it the um, Izumi class light cruiser. We might have already made a class of that name. 
Ammo allowance for main guns is on the low side. Cancel. We've got a few tons to spare. What if we bump that? There we go. So up to 120. So turret less than 9 inch caliber without reliable trading elevation gear. Turret rate of fire reduced by 20%. Which main gun turret is that? Why? Um, so apparently we haven't researched triple tur effective triple turrets yet. So I wonder if we add forward as a double. Will that be an issue? Yeah, it still says that we haven't researched that enough. Hmm. We can drop it to a double. Well, I mean, six inch guns are... Hmm. Well, if we just make them single turrets. Forward. Aft. And then port midship wing, starboard midship wing. So we just kind of make up for it in quantity of turrets along the flanks. I like the idea of having a heavy turret firing forward, but um, it saved us quite a bit of weight actually. Not enough to bump up to 28 knots though. We could make the turrets a bit. No, not going to happen. Deck armor maybe two inches? Nope. Uh, belt armor three inches? There we go. Belt armor three inches. And we'll bump ammo up a bit. So save we've got about 45 tons extra, but we can we can be a little bit inefficient. Unless oh, we can drop it by 100 tons. So 7,700 ton cruiser, 28 knots, um, 10 six inch guns. I think that's a, a much more adequate light cruiser design that we can use. So we'll go ahead and save it, the Azumi class. And we're gonna go to the build dialog. So we've got a 7,700 ton light cruiser, a um, bit bigger than our Tushama class from five years ago. Um, all the modern trappings, and you can see here, it'll take 1.2 million to build a single ship. Um, I think we're going to build four up front. It's obviously going to put us into the red, but we've got some buffer there. So we'll go ahead and start building four of them. First ship of the class generates extra cost for development, 2.4 million. I'm fine with that. And you can see here we're back into the red, but we are now building four long-range light cruisers. You can see if we go to the build dialog, our light cruisers, we only have five in service. So we're nearly doubling our light cruiser force since we scrapped a whole bunch of them. Um, and actually gives us more in construction than anyone else. doesn't look like anyone's building heavy cruisers right now, so it appears, except for us, so it does appear that that sort of dreadnought effect also um, has occurred on at AI cruisers also. Um, but yeah, we don't really have much money to do anything else, so we'll go ahead and jump forward a turn. Spy from France has been discovered. Well, let's see, what's our relationship with France? We've got increased tensions. We've already fought a war with France. So give it maximum publicity, and it'll give us some extra money. Tensions go up a bit, but you can see our... I think we got $400,000 more. Maybe not. Um, it appears we have the smallest total battleship tonnage in service, or building, of all the great powers. The Prime Minister is displeased, and your prestige suffers. So we lost a point of prestige, because again, we kept getting criticized for not having enough battleships, and we haven't done anything about it. Um, I'm hesitant to build much more because we don't have a ton of money for it. I suppose we can build one more Naga-class battleship, or battle cruiser, while we wait for some funds to open up, seeing as we keep getting criticized for this. The Naga is three years old, um, but we'll do it anyway. Looks like the monthly build cost has come down, perhaps, because it is older. So... We now have a new battle cruiser under construction, the Naga class. It's probably a little bit out of date when you consider all the different technologies we've de developed since then, but at least it gets us on par with our battleship or battle cruiser construction. We'll have four battle cruisers when that's all complete. France actually has four battle cruisers there under construction as well as one complete, so they'll have five versus ours. Interestingly enough, France's budget has dropped, and so has Russia's, uh, below the 300,000 mark, so I wonder if they're having some political turmoil that's preventing them from being able to keep that all going. Meanwhile, the United States probably loves us. They're just all thrilled that we uh, keep building things in the United States. 
think what we'll do is we'll go back to normal construction on the other Naga in the U.S. Now that we're no longer at war, there's not much point in rushing it. And it saves us about a half a million, so it gets us um, back under control here. And then um, once the next one's completed, I'll start scrapping these Mikasa classes. Again, we're losing prestige and popularity because we have so few... Oh, uh, so now we can... <laughs> oh, we had that whole issue with the cruiser just last turn where we couldn't mount double torpedo tubes above water, and now we can. Cool. Um... So our heavy cruisers are mostly mothballed. We just need more money. I don't have enough money to do anything. The Russian government's offering to sell us the rights to small tube boilers for three point three million. Um I would say our Navy needs the best technology that we can buy. But the problem is, we don't have a ton of spare cash right now. We've only got about nine months left of money. Doesn't look our na like our naval budget went up at all, either, as the year went on. Maybe slightly. The Russian government is instead buying the rights to the horizontal turbines for $4.7 So, the Russian government is interested in buying rights to our horizontal turbines. It'll improve the Russian government's ships... But it'll generate four point million dollars. I'd say this is sensitive technology, but realistically, they're going to develop it on their own, and we could use the money. So sure. Fleet tactics. Okay. Plus, the Russians are going to have to. Oh no! Delays in the Abiki. Anyway, um, so it gave us badly needed extra money. Industrial production has increased. New docks increased. Research breakthrough machinery development, small tube boilers. So we actually ended up developing that on our own. Um, now, the only bad thing about the technology we sold to the Russians is you can replace, like, boiler equipment, which is kind of annoying. Um, let's see here. We're to May of 1912. Two battle cruisers under construction. A heavy cruiser will be done in three months. <sighs> we need more money. Um, we can build a 29,000 ton, although the completion of those docks does help. We can build ships up to 29,000 tons. I'm not sure. I think we're also going to design a new destroyer class. I'm not going to bother with the destroyer class. I don't see the point of like designing troop transports. Oh, I guess we can't. I don't know why that's in there if we can't design that type of ship. But anyway, um, we'll just auto design a destroyer. 900 tons, really? 30 knots. What's our last design? What is our last destroyer design? Um, it's the Hyatt class. So let's take a look here. That can make 28 knots, four above water torpedo tubes, two four inch guns. So if we go in and we design a ship automatically and we make a destroyer. Uh, four above water torpedo tubes again. It does have four five inch or four inch guns, so a little bit more firepower, a little bit more speed as well, medium range. Complement eighty two. I guess that's a little bit better of a ship. So go ahead and we'll we'll save that. That's okay. We'll go to the Minicani. It's gonna cost a quarter of a million per turn. Twelve months to build. Eeg. A little ton of them. I'm not doing well with my financial management. It looks like we've only got about six months left of six months left of money. Uh, we do finish a heavy cruiser in three months. That'll help a little bit, but we're going to be in the red uh, before 
any of those other ships complete. We may have to halt construction if we run out of money. Uh, I do need more destroyers, though. As you can see here, we're dramatically outclassed in that uh, in that factor. And ten new modern destroyers is will will come in will come in handy, especially when you consider these destroyers are ten years old. In fact, we're going to scrap those two ten-year-old ships. Doesn't save us a lot of money, but there's no point in having ten-year-old destroyers laying around. Okay. Like we're just going to blaze through to 1913. US government's offering to sell us 14-inch guns. Negative one quality, though. 5.8 million. Yes, because I want to build gigantic gunned battleships. And holy cow. That was not the best financial decision. So we just commissioned a bunch of submarines, which I kind of forgot about. So that actually helps. Those 10 submarines that we just completed, 20,000 per turn, but it brings a little bit of a relief to the budget. Got another 2.6 million that should come off the books in two turns. And again, the Navy League keeps complaining about our battleships. There's been an internal upheaval in Albania. Italy is apparently sending a force there obstantaneously to restore order, but it's likely they have more far-reaching plans. What do you recommend? Issue an ultimatum, which will increase tensions dramatically. Push for an international force to thwart their expansionist plans, which will increase tensions slightly. Or not risk our relations raising tensions over such a trivial manner. I will say this is absolutely unrealistic because you're never going to send um, international forces to Albania. In fact, Italy did, I believe, take over Albania at one point. Um, but the increase in tensions will help our budget. So Italy ignores us. Actually, it looks like the tensions for several of these other European countries drop. Italy's increase. Um, and Italy has taken Albania, which I don't really care about. And I'm happy if it increases our budget, if tensions go up a bit. So you can see our budget increased by about $7 million. And the heavy cruiser construction is also done. So we've got about seven or eight months left of money. Um, which nicely coincides to a right around when our destroyers will be completed. Um, I think we're going to blast through and get to January. I think that's the goal. Right-wing politicians attack the government saying we have too few battleships. Well, give us more money then, because we don't have enough money. Oil's been discovered in New Caledonia. Private shipbuilding's expanding. Max dock size increased by 1,000 tons. The Tokuyawa has finished her working up. It appears we have the smallest battleship force in service. Prime Minister's displeased my prestige suffers. So it's dropped two now. But we got a whole bunch of breakthroughs. So actually we could probably look at... Um, I mean, really, guys. If you really, really want more battleships, you could just maybe give me a little bit more money. Um, about four months left of money. These ships will start coming off the ways then, so that's good. We'll have another battle cruiser then. We have four battle cruisers under construction, or total. We'll have more battle cruisers than anyone, well, most countries. Fewer than Russia. They're building five. Holy cow. We'll equal the U.S. We'll surpass Italy and Great Britain and Germany in terms of battle cruisers, although they all have dreadnoughts. The nice thing is if that additional 1,000 tons of private shipbuilding, now we can build a 30,000-ton ship, and now that we have 14-inch guns, we could design a battleship with 14-inch guns. I was hesitant because before we only had 13-inch guns. The only thing is the quality um, is a little bit lower than I would like on those guns. So you can see here we've got 14-inch guns, negative one quality. Let's see, 15,000, a max range of 18,000 yards. So they definitely outrange everything. Well, 18, 8, 18, 6. So they're almost equal to our 12-inch guns, which are, is our best quality main main battery gun. Um, but in terms of armor penetration at 15,000 yards, they're definitely better than anything else we have. So I think the next class of battleship will probably use 14-inch main guns, which was a common battleship class uh, gun size. And I think we'll probably design that next turn. Um, 
Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, no. We still got those four. We need more light cruisers. I mean, it's it's hard. You want to build a balanced fleet, but the only thing that any of the politicians care about is the battleships, which is stupid, because if you don't have a balanced fleet, you're screwed. Um, how many battleship fights have we seen in any of the wars that we fought? Meanwhile, we've had dozens and dozens of cruiser fights, so it's kind of annoying in that sense. But um, anyway, uh, that's where we are right now. We've got ten destroyers under construction, four light cruisers, two battle cruisers. Uh, we've got about four months left of money, which is when some of these ships will start completing. Um, but I may have to, I may be pressured into building battleships um, before then. I suppose I could always halt construction on one ship and um, start construction on a new ship, so then I can claim like, ooh, look at all these ships we have under construction, even though they're all stopped because we have no money. Um, I could also start scrapping some of these ships. I, I, I don't want to scrap the battleships we have. We're already getting criticized. Um, I suppose I could scrap the heavy cruisers. No one cares about those. Um, but if a war happened now and I scrap all of those, we're kind of screwed anyway. So basically, you guys, politicians, right now, I'm not happy with you. You suck. We're in 1913, and, um, yeah, we've got new cruiser and, and destroyer classes, so the next step is those capital ships. It's just a matter of getting some extra money. I suppose we could lower, um, some of our training. We're paying additional money to have night training and gun training. Um, but it's it's nice to have well-trained crews. We could drop the research budget, drop it by 2%. I mean, we've got a ton of research done already. It's, it's, it's that's definitely outstripping our ability to build, so I think I'll drop the research budget by about one-fifth or 2%. That could hurt us down the line, um, but we need to be able to build some of these ships. It doesn't help to have all these great technologies that you can't essentially monetize or, or put into your ship design. So that saved us a bit of money there. We're um, in a little bit better shape now. Certainly should get these other ships into service before we run out of money. And um, yeah, anyway, guys, I, I appreciate you tuning in uh, and listening to my half an hour long ramblings. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching and I'm out.